So here's a little addition to the last video that I made which showed you how to make these two combo boxes um, work together. Um, when something's selected in the first combo box it changes the values um, that appear in the second combo box. Um, what I wasn't happy with was if I changed my mind and decided to select a different customer the second box wasn't changing for that customer unless I clicked refresh first. So definitely not what we want to do. We don't want to actually have to tell our customer to go and refresh the page to get the new values. So a very, very simple fix. What we'll go into is design view and we'll go into our first combo box and we'll create an event. This event is very simple. All it's going to say is that when a value in here changes, refresh the page. So we're going to have on change. We'll go into the macro builder. So we're looking at this first combo box. We're going to on change into the macro builder. And all we need to click on is refresh. And then OK. Yes, we do want to update it. Now what we'll see is when we are going to our order form and we're selecting our first customer, then we'll quite happily get John Sloan's um, orders in there. But if we change our mind and we want to go down to Bill Huggins instead, you see that what was in there has actually disappeared straight away. It's just like us clicking the refresh button, but it's actually doing it automatically. And what we're getting is Bill Huggins orders in there automatically. So just to recap, very simple. On our first combo box, we are creating an event on change and that on change event just refreshes the page. So very simple, very quick fix. Shouldn't take much time at all. And it makes the whole interface a lot more user friendly. So getting Betty's orders. And then if we go to Bob's orders, we're just getting his instead. Okay, hope that makes sense.